A Trump family hotel could be on its way to the Queen City. Cincinnati was mentioned by the company CEO in a list of possible locations for expansion. And already the thought is generating all kinds of buzz. Nine on your side's John Genovese is live with what we know. And if there's room for more rooms in our area, John. Yeah, and Tanya, Cincinnati was one of several spots that were mentioned. This new chain will not bear Trump's name, but the people we spoke with have mixed feelings on whether or not it would be a welcome addition. It's a lavish chain frequented by the world elite. Trump hotels need no other explanation, but now the company run by two of the president's sons is planning to expand. I definitely think that would be a bad idea. I would stay there. Uh, depending on how much it costs. Branded Scion, they'll be the first Trump hotels not to use the family name. Promising modern, sleek interiors and communal areas, rooms will run two to three hundred bucks a night, roughly half the cost of the Trump luxury chain. Cincinnati is just a hot market right now. Yancey Deering is director of communications for the Convention and Visitors Bureau, with more and more events being held here and a possible expansion coming to the Duke Energy Center. He says there's plenty of demand. We have developers calling us at the at the bureau quite often inquiring because they see that we've added a thousand hotel rooms uh, over the last couple of years. We have 500 more hotel rooms that are going to come online soon. Aside from Cincinnati, Trump Hotel CEO Eric Danziger mentioned Milwaukee and Louisville as other possible locations. But when we ask people what they think, I definitely would not stay there. Some have reservations and others would be making them. As long as there's development in Cincinnati, it'd be good, I would say. Now, Danziger hopes to open between 50 and 100 Scion hotels in the first three years. He says they've already signed letters of intent with more than 20 developers, but wouldn't say where. We'll keep an eye on this for you. But for now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side. All right, John, thanks.